Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday, as you guys can all tell, and that means we're doing a thrift with me today. I am at Value Village. We are actually gonna be thrifting my Pinterest board today. I decided on the way here, we're gonna thrift my Pinterest board. I haven't done this video in a while, so I thought, you know, let's, let's, let's thrift my Pinterest board today. Here's my Pinterest board, kind of the stuff I'm looking for today. Hoping I find some fun pants. Maybe I'll go there first and maybe not. Maybe I'll just get disappointed though. I don't really know what the plan is. I'm just going to go in there and see what we find and hopefully some things are on my Pinterest board. That's what I'm looking for. So let's head in. Ooh, I like this one. Look at this beaded one. That is so cute and it's $6.49. But I don't think I've really used it so I'm going to leave it. What else do we have here? So the one thing that's been on my Pinterest board for a long time is loafers and they are extremely hard to find at the thrift store. I don't know if anybody else, but I really want a pair of loafers and I just haven't been able to find any. I got a coupon from Value Village in my email and they sent me 50% off all like clothing and shoes. So everything I buy today is actually 50% off, which is really exciting because I haven't been to like a 50% off sale at Value Village in probably like over a year now. Speaking of loafers, I just found this pair, which are really, really nice. I do like them, but then I just looked at the size and it says they're like an eight to an eight and a half. And maybe they'll fit, I'll try them on. And they're also Franco Sardo. I don't really see any other loafers. Obviously I'm looking for like the dream pair of like these Prada ones, but um, that's gonna be like slim and none when I come to the thrift store. I'm just in the boots now and I found these Rockport boots, which I think are really cute. So I'm gonna try these on as well. I didn't even look at the price, but they say they're made in Italy and they're leather and they're $25. So they'll be $12.50. Look at these shoes. Oh my goodness, I love them. But unfortunately they're like a size six, so they're not my size, but I have been seeing so many shoes with like the clear heel for so long on Pinterest. Never found any at their store, but now I find them, but they're too small. So we're starting in the pants today and I see some goodies here. I see this one and I see purple here. So I'm gonna just start going through all of these pants here. So here is the first pant I found and I'm, it's close. I do love shimmery sparkly pants and I have a lot of them on my Pinterest board, but mm, I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of this pair. Look at this pair of pants. These are absolutely perfect. This is something that's definitely on my Pinterest board. I love this coral color. I said that I was looking for some bright colors. So 100% putting this in my cart. It's brand new with tags and it's $12. So it will be only six. So I found two pairs of jeans. I just went through all the jeans and just got a little excited. And I found two pairs. I found this wide leg pair. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it because it's white lot wide the leg here so i'm holding on to them these ones are 6.99 so they'll actually be 350 and then the other pair which i definitely think i'm gonna get they are a vintage pair of jeans here and they are a straight kind of wide leg a bit or maybe like a little bit of like more, more like a boot cut wide leg in between and they are beautiful they're 4.99 so they'll be 250 and they are super high rise unfortunately i just don't really have many skirts on my pinterest board but i do have a lot of shirts um it, i think it says short sleeve yeah there you go short sleeve knit so i'm gonna go through all of these i kind of walked past a little bit and saw a little sneak peek that there looked like some good ones in here so I'm gonna go through every single one. I know tie-dye is like kind of over, but this one's not that tie-dye. I would consider this more like a pattern than a tie-dye, even though it's kind of like a tie-dye. And it's 550, so it'll be 275. So we're just gonna, you know, throw it in my cart. I swear, my style is so all over the place. I found another shimmery top. I I just love this kind of shimmery, you know, a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of shine. That's what I'm really digging right now and it's all over my Pinterest board. It's only $4.49 and it's vintage. How do I say no to something that's $2 and it's vintage? A zebra shirt, brand new with tags. I think it's Lucky the brand maybe? I'm not really sure. It says Molly bracken okay but no, that's not lucky it just seems like lucky's logo but it's brand new it was on sale for 22 they're selling it for 12.99 and it'll be 650 for the zebra shirt well i can try this one on so we'll just put that in there <laughs> this is so fun this top there's so many good tops here in the blouse section today <laughs> although i'm not a huge fan of blouses so that's why i usually don't get many but when i find one that's really really cute i just 
gotta pick it up. Now, the sweater section. This is the section that always gets me because at the thrift store, there's always cute sweaters here. Like 99% of the time, there's something cute in this section. I swore it said something else. <laughs> but this is a really cute sweater. I do like this kind of pastel salmon peachy color. Oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> Another granny sweater. I found one here last time. Oh my goodness, and it's $2.50. Look at this. This is legit the pattern that is all over my Pinterest board. Oh my goodness. This is a cool pattern. Also, just a quick pro tip. Check your Pinterest board and browse it for a few minutes before you head into the thrift store. It's really helpful. It's really helpful to get ideas of what you might want to look for at the thrift store. So. We actually have a sponsor for today's video and it is Skillshare. So I want to take a quick minute to share with you guys all about Skillshare. If you haven't heard about Skillshare before, they are an online community where you can learn from thousands and thousands of classes. So I recently just took a class on Skillshare and I actually learned how to take care of indoor plants because I'm a new plant mom. I have a whole bunch in my room here and I had no idea which plants I should get or how to take care of them. And I learned all about this in this class called Plants at Home by Christopher Griffin and it was, it was incredible. But if you're not into plants or you already know a ton about indoor plants and how to take care of them, there is a whole bunch of classes on there for you guys. You can also take classes on illustration, on photography, on film, on sewing. You can learn how to sew or even improve your sewing skills. So there is tons of classes on there, creative, and also a lot of lifestyle, freelance, and also marketing classes. Skillshare is specifically curated for learning. That means that there is no ads and there's always been new premium classes added all the time. But if you want to try Skillshare for free, the first thousand people to use my link down below in the description, you will get a free trial. And then after that, it is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Once again, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And now we can get back to the thrifting. This is the matching top to the pants I showed you guys. You know, this pants that I found earlier, here's the matching top. I could get a full two piece set. I have never found a two piece set. Like, okay, well I have, okay. I've, I rarely find two piece sets at the thrift store. So I just found this bubblegum pink jacket right here and I have to try it on. And then I also found this green one this green jacket right here and I have to try this one on too. Definitely both all over my Pinterest board, both these colors and I'm excited for them but also kind of mad that they're jackets and not like shirts or pants. Oh my goodness, I have probably like 30 jackets at home so I don't need to add another one. So if I get this, I definitely have to get rid of one but it honestly is the perfect color. It is like brand new condition. It just, I, I just love it. So this one definitely is a little big but I do kind of like it. I don't mind an oversized jacket. I probably won't get it just because it is kind of maybe a little bit too oversized. It's an extra large, but the color is absolutely perfect. It kind of looks more like a forest green in the mirror right now, or not the mirror, <laughs> the camera, but in person, it's more, more brighter. So I'm in the men's section right now. I'm in the sweaters and I just kind of went through most of the sweaters now and I found this sweater right here which is so weird because last time or not last time but a few times ago i was here and i found this exact sweater this vintage root sweater in navy and now i find it in red i just realized that story wasn't really that exciting but it's pretty exciting to find two of the same vintage pieces well i think so but anyways i'm in the men's section i'm gonna go through the rest of the men's and then we're gonna head to the home decor whoa is this a firefighter jacket no it's not just 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 joking. I thought it said, it said fire something here. So I thought it was a firefighter's jacket, but I, no. Okay, I've definitely seen a few sweater vests like this on Pinterest and it's only $7.99, so $4. I'm just starting in the furniture and look at this lamp here. I love this base here. It's $3.99. It's, it's, wait, there's no bulb in there, wait. I'd probably just have to put <gasps> it's like yeah my goodness okay we're just gonna put this in here we just gonna put that down wow what a find i wonder if this is a vintage ikea find i don't know how you tell because if you guys have seen me on instagram um i'm obsessed with vintage ikea right now and this definitely feels like maybe 2000s maybe 90s who knows if it's 90s it's vintage if it's 2000s obviously it's not I remember when I went to Disneyland like two years ago and I bought Mickey Mouse ears for like 
forty dollars and they're only three ninety nine here. Forty dollars Canadian, by the way. This is a cute pot. Two ninety nine. I can buy another plant. That'll work. Wow, there's so many cute pots here. Like, look at this green one right here. That one's adorable. This one's adorable. This one is absolutely adorable. It'd be nice for like a little succulent. This is a vibe. Hey, I just bought that one. That is so funny that this exact same one is here. And oh, it's, it's, it's cheaper too. I like this color. Very, very pretty. I, I just realized 2000 is vintage. I'm technically vintage. That doesn't make me feel good. So I'm back in the fabric section again, just cause I want to look through it again. And I found this fabric this time. It's like this ruffled white fabric, but this fabric reminds me so much of these pants from like I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they remind me of these pants and I'm thinking I could make them. I could even dye this fabric a color and then make them. I'm just full of good ideas today. And I can make them for 4 50 And there's so much fabric here, I could probably make like two pairs. This fabric is so pretty. So pretty. Oh, stretchy knit. So I think I'm finally done. I have a full cart right here and I feel happy about the things I found. So I'm just gonna sort through them, see what I wanna keep, see, or I also have to try on some shoes. So I have to try on shoes, see what I wanna keep, and then I can check out and then show you guys the haul. I'll see you guys at home. For today's haul, I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Usually when I do the haul, I usually just sit down in my chair and I show you guys all the items and then I show you some clips of me trying them on. But today, I think I just wanna make some Pinterest outfits with the items that I purchased today because obviously they were inspired by Pinterest, so might as well just make some Pinterest looks with them. So we're gonna do that, but before I get into that, I am going to do some thrift flips. So some of the items might look a little bit different, hopefully in a good way. <laughs> So, I finished my one thrift flip. It's dark now, but um, yeah, we finished this one thrift flip. It ended up taking me about an hour to do this top, so we're gonna start off the haul with my one thrift flip from the haul today. So, for this top, I got inspiration from this pin. This is a Paloma Bull top, and I absolutely love it. It's actually sold out on their website, and I believe it's 147 euros something around there so it's pretty pricey i think that converts to like over 200 dollars canadian so it's a pricey top so i thought hey let's try to make it the shirt was 275 it was a t-shirt originally and then i made it into a tank top obviously this top is not the long sleeve but i think it's a pretty good dupe for it so i'm happy with how this top turned out i think it it, it achieved you know thrifting a Pinterest look, so I definitely think success with this one. And then for the outfit, I ended up just pairing it with these green yoga pants that I made a while ago just to give it a little bit more fun color. So next outfit. This is my next outfit and the inspiration was from this pin right here. So I actually do have a pair of yellow pants almost like those. So I will show you what the top looks like with those yellow pants just because I really want to recreate this outfit to a T. But I wanted to show you the peach pants that I took to today with this outfit just because, you know, another pastel color I thought would look good with this top. So here is the outfit. I'm really happy with it. They were actually both brand new tags. So this is actually a whole brand new outfit from the thrift store. So that was really exciting to find some items that were actually brand new with tags, had the price tag on everything. And these pants were actually vintage. So they were <laughs> brand new with tags and they were vintage. So obviously they were sitting in someone's closet for 20 years plus. So it's exciting. They both fit perfect. I ended up just tying it and tucking it in the back just to make it a bit more cropped. And then these pants fit perfect. They're nice and stretchy and they're nice and comfy. And then here's the shirt just tucked into these yellow pants, the ones I was wearing today. And I would say this is pretty, pretty close to the actual one. And this one is 100% thrifted. So the next item I thrifted was the shimmery gold kind of champagne top here. Usually I don't really buy blouses just because I typically don't wear blouses, but I was just feeling this one, just like my last zebra one. I'm just 
feeling it. I love shimmery and kind of just like a little bit of shine in my clothes right now. I love my glitter pants and I wanted a nice shimmery, glittery top. It's not really glittery. It's it's like more sh shimmer, I would say. And it's actually quite soft and comfy. I really like it. It's actually vintage as well. And then for my outfit, I just paired it with my Pull & Will green kind of psychedelic pants. These are my absolute favorite pants and I pair them with everything. These pants, like, they probably don't go with everything, but I like to put them with everything. So this is the outfit I created. I'm still a little iffy on how to style this top, but I think, I think this one works. So for the bubblegum pink jacket, you're probably wondering what I'm gonna pair with it. You probably would think I would just pair some jeans with it, but nope. I'm pairing my Paloma wool pants once again with this outfit and I feel like Maxine on Instagram and her Pinterest famous pins. Yes, if you've seen her pins on, okay, you've probably seen her pins on Pinterest, but she has an amazing Instagram account and a lot of good reels and TikToks and stuff. So this is my outfit for the pink jacket and I love it. And if you guys watched my videos in the past, you probably heard me a few times say that um, I don't like pink and I will not wear pink, but I changed my mind again. Just don't listen to me when I say I don't like something because usually two weeks later, I say I love it. That's just how it goes on this channel. So now for some jeans. So here is the first pair of jeans that I purchased and look how wide these legs are. They are ginormous and I've been super into wide leg jeans. So I was super happy to find them. The only thing is they're a tad bit big in the waist. So I think I'll probably just put like two darts back here just to make them a little bit slimmer in the waist here. And I think that'll be perfect just because I do like this kind of comfy oversized jean. Like I do like a comfy jean. So I think we're gonna keep it as is and just alter the waist a bit. But I, I, I love this. I love this. It actually looks so good with this top here. I just put it on because I needed a top to put on, but it's perfect with this top too. And then here is other pair of jeans that I got. And these ones are just a nice straight leg jean. I really like them. Again, they're a tad bit big in the waist, but they fit everywhere else. So I'm just gonna have to adjust the waist just a tad, but it's okay. They, they fit pretty good other than the waist, so I'm happy and I just wore this shirt once. Once again, <laughs> got a little lazy already, but um, yeah, this is my last pair of jeans and these were only $2.50. And then the last pair of jeans, were they, they were only $3.50. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why everything was so cheap. Like I think everything I got was like under $10. Like most of the things were like a three or $4. It was crazy. And these are a vintage pair of jeans. Happy I found two more dark pair of jeans to add to my collection because I actually haven't been really into light jeans lately, so maybe I'll wear these ones more. Or I will wear these ones more. And for my last two items, I ended up picking up the IKEA lamp, and this one was $3.99, and then I ended up getting this purple pastel pot, and I'm so excited to get a plant now for it, and this one was only $2.99. Although this Ikea lamp, I'm really hoping I'll be able to find a bulb because I went to go put a light bulb into it and then I realized you need a special light bulb for it. So hopefully Ikea still sells light bulbs for these. And then I also got this fabric. So this is my last item from the haul. It's like the white stretchy fabric that I said I was gonna make these pair of pants with and I'm just gonna dye them and I'm excited because this fabric is so soft so the pants would be so cozy and I probably could make a matching top with it. I think that'd be a good idea. But other than that, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's thrift with me and thrift doll. And if you guys have a favorite item, let me know down in the comments below. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And you can also follow me on Instagram. I show a lot of behind the scenes on there and you can see how I style all of these outfits that I thrift. But I'm gonna say goodbye. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video on Wednesday. Bye guys. Thank you.